What's up, everybody? It's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today, we're going to be checking out this WeatherTech Rock and Bug Shield. It's going to be going on a 2022 Ram 2500. Taking a closer look at our shield here, it's made out of an aerospace grade acrylic. It's sturdy. As I knock on it, you can hear it's not just a flimsy piece of plastic. So if it does take a couple rocks to it, it's not going to shatter it and break it. It's going to hold up for a long time. How it attaches is underneath. It does use some of the spots there where you have the fasteners. So you'll have to pop those out to install it. But I like that it is fastened in there. It's not just some tape that we put underneath there to tape it in place. It's actually fastened, so you don't have to worry about it coming off. As far as install goes, it's not so bad. Check out how I did it. First thing we want to do before lining up our bug shield, and we're going to want to do a test fit, but before we do that, let's clean off the area we're going to be working on. So I just got some alcohol here on this cloth and go up the rubber strip. We already cleaned off the top of the hood. So just come here on the bottom. Before we start doing our test fit. With the hood brought down, we're going to do a test fit with the bug shield. So we're going to slide it into place and see where it lines up. We want to line up with some of the tabs underneath. So you see it needs to go right about here and each one of these tabs lines up with the fitting we gotta pop out because that's how we're gonna secure it. So you can see they go all the way across and now it's gonna line up with just a few of them. We got one here, so that's good. Looks like there's one here as well. So that's gonna line up. Looks like all the way down, it's gonna be just fine. So what I'm gonna do is leave this on here and I'm gonna get some blue painter's tape and mark each one of the ones that we're gonna replace with the hardware that comes with the bug shield. Put the blue painter's tape next to each one of the fasteners I need to remove. That way I didn't leave any marks on there, but I know which ones I need to remove with my flat blade screwdriver. So we're just gonna pop those out. You just find an edge to get under there and carefully pry it out around the ends. We used the flat blade screwdriver, but it was easier to actually use the trim panel tool. So I'm just gonna do that. That's gonna help me back that out. So now we can put in the replacement hardware that came with the bug shield. So I'm gonna go down the line for all the blue tape that we put up and pop those out. You might notice that the original hardware snapped out. That's okay because this is the replacement hardware that came with the bug shield. So this is what's gonna go in place of those. So if they do snap like you heard or saw, it's all right because you got new hardware. Now with those fasteners removed, I can put the bug shield back on. And what we're gonna do is these flanges that we attach go between the rubber portion and the hood. So I'm just gonna go along here, peel it back a little bit as we slide the bug shield into place. Now we're gonna put our new fasteners into place. You wanna make sure you slide the bug shield underneath our rubber seal here. And then this portion is gonna go under there as well. So we're gonna line that up with the hole. Make sure it's lined up right there. I'm gonna bring the bug shield back a little bit so we get that hole exposed. Push that in. Now it's not gonna go in very far right here, but we line it up Start the screw just a little bit. Don't go too much because it can expand as you do that. But we'll get it started so that I can push up with the screwdriver and it should snap into place. So we got it started there. Push up with the screwdriver. There you go. It's gone into place and then I can just tighten it down. We're going to repeat that process on all the other holes. Something that helped me out is if you are having problems with the base going up into the hole you can push down on the flange to make sure it's flat up against the hood and then try pushing it in there's a few of these that gave us a little bit of problems but that trick helped us get all of them in okay. and now once they're in we can go ahead and remove the painters tape now we're going to install these stops on the hood of the truck we we'll go around and see where it comes close to your hood and that's where you would install only so that if it does flex a little bit it's not going to be scratching that up so we're going to look as we go it looks like this area, it comes the closest. Up on top, it really doesn't get that close. We're gonna go on both ends here. We've already cleaned off the area. 
So just peel back the stop and stick it into place. We're gonna go right here in the corner because that's where it's the closest. Seems good right there. Now we don't have to worry about if it uh, come down, it'll hit that stop before it touches the paint. Now we're gonna repeat that for the other side and any other places where it looks like it's coming close. Overall, it wasn't too bad to get installed. Didn't take me that long. And once it's on there, it actually looks pretty nice. It looks factory with the truck. And I know it's gonna help protect any rock chips from getting kicked up there or even just bugs hitting it. It's gonna be nice not to worry about the front of the hood here. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and I hope this helped.